In this video, we're going to look at determining numbers of sections for ATT, AM, and PM courses, as well as sections for curricular courses in a K-6 school. The ATT, AM, and ATT, PM sections are pretty easy to do. It should simply be the number of homerooms that you have. You're going to have one for morning and one for afternoon, usually done by the same teacher. And even if they're done by a different teacher, it's okay. We need a morning and an afternoon uh, section. So I've got 17 homerooms. I should have 17 ATT AMs and 17 ATT PMs. You can have different grades in those homerooms. You could do all kinds of different things uh, with the grades, but you just need to have 17 groups for attendance, as well as class size. As we're going to use the ATT AM for is uh, determining the class size. Now, curricular courses are a little bit different because they depend on uh, not only homeroom, but grade. So you need to look down this kind of chart to see how many sections for each grade that you have. Whereas homerooms, you're going this way and working your way down. So in kindergarten, I see that I have two separate classes of K, homeroom one and homeroom two, two different classes of K. So I need two sections of everything, two sections of math, science, language arts, um, three different strands of language arts, sorry, um, term comments, etc. There'll be a list for that. I have three different sections of grade one, so I'd need to have three sections of everything. Grade two, I have four different sections. I need to have four. Uh, grade three, I've got three. And grade four, I have three. Grade five, I have four. And grade six, I have four more. Now that we have our number of sections, we know where, how many sections of ATTAM or PM courses, as well as our curricular sections, we're going to go over into the schedule top tab in the school view and start to build those. So that's a separate video and just have a look on the website for elementary scheduling videos.